First, we're going to talk Huber's Orchard and Winery, and joining me is Lisa Kruer. Lisa, how are you? I'm very well. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for being here today. Thanks for having me. Well, you know, when anybody comes, brings food and wine wow. and bur yes. I mean, I'm, hello. We're welcome pretty much everywhere. Well, you know me very well already, and we just, we just met <laughs> before just the show. Met. But uh, So, let's talk about Huber's Orchard and Winery. So, you know, we were just talking off air about how... You know, it's winter, yeah. uh, and, but there's still a lot going on. Tell me about that. Oh, absolutely. So um, the, the message, of course, is what to do on the farm in wintertime. We actually do have guests who think that we close over the really? off season, which is not true at all. We're open 358 days a year. Wow. And if you drove onto the farm right now, you'd look around and think. I had a little, a little girl say to me the other day, I overheard her say, Mommy, everything's dead here. And I said, oh, well, we prefer to stay sleeping. Sleeping. I like <laughs> yes. that. I like that. Okay. So everybody's asleep. And, yes. But and not, the, not everything else is going no, on. No, There's no, a lot no. of things happening. So, so the fruits and vegetables and things that are growing are sleeping right now. Actually, our farmers are really hard at work right now prepping for the next growing season. So come May, we'll have strawberries, blueberries, and then we'll kind of be off to the races. So we're doing things like covering the strawberries with straw to keep them warm. Okay. And and painting the trunks of the peach trees to keep them from blooming too early, things like that. So our farmers are very busy. You just can't see it. Right. Now, for the guest, just come indoors. That's yeah. where all the fun is right well, now. You've got heat. You're gonna, we gonna, do. It's we, gonna have be heat. Okay. we have a roaring fireplace yes, in the winery. Yes, you got that too. So when yeah. people think wine, obviously they think wine taste things, yeah. winery tours. Can you talk about the things that you guys offer? Definitely. So one of the favorite activities for the winter time right now is a wine or spirits tasting. You can come into the winery. We, have, um, we actually have a Groupon that, that is available right now if you want to do sort of a whole afternoon experience it'll have a wine tasting or distillery tasting a little tour of our production facility which is fantastic if you haven't done it yet comes with a little pizza a little gift to take home it's a great way to spend Ooh. an afternoon I'm gonna have to do that yeah uh, you I'm should. have to do that <laughs> talking about spirits you know a lot of times I think you guys are kind of synonymous when it comes to wine people yeah. think Huber's they yeah. think wine how long have you all been doing spirits and, and how delicious are they um, a long time and vary. So that's <laughs> like the that. short answer. Short answer. Perfect. I like that. <laughs> We've actually had a distillery since 2001. Okay. We've been distilling product for a very long time. However, un until about four years ago, we were only allowed to distill and sell brandy type products. So brandy okay. is any, you can make brandy from anything you can make wine from. So previously we could only make things from grapes and fruit. Then we were able to expand and make things from grains, corn, things like that, which is where we got the beer, the bourbons. So the that's vodkas. what's come on lately. Okay, yes. that's why. So it is, is it newer. Four so years ago, yeah. We do understand when people say, sure. Hubers, I didn't know that you had no, spirits. That's awesome. we, we totally understand that. People think of us as a farm first, then as a winery, and the distillery is sort of newer to the game, and so we we definitely want you to know that we're out there and and um, if you walk into your favorite bar and see one of these bottles on the shelves, that is us. And you better order a drink, right? <laughs> absolutely. So, yeah, absolutely. And I've heard a lot of great things about yeah. it. I just, i, I got to try it myself now. You you what. should. You I, should. I will make that happen. I brought a couple of things with us just to kind of give you an idea uh -huh. about how you can spend your winter days on the farm. So, first of all, let's talk short term. Okay. In the next couple of days, if you're one of those families, and we do still have families that deck their tree on Christmas Eve, you can still come and cut your tree on Christmas Eve or, or the day before Christmas. Christmas Eve. The 23rd will be the very last day. You can come out and get a U-cut tree until the 23rd. Uh, we do still, and this is big news. Okay. I'm a little scared to say this. Drum roll. Yeah. Okay, okay, what do we got? We still have Christmas White and Pops Reserve in the winery right now. Wow. We shifted some things around in production. We were able to produce a little more than we ordinarily do. So if you haven't gotten your favorite Christmas spirits yet, Go, go you can now. Still make it happen. They might not. They might not last until Saturday. That's I right. Promise. And it's the twentieth, so you got time. Yes, but, but you, you got time. Out, until it runs out. So yes, you, know, you got to yeah. make sure. Get them for your table. Soon. Get them for your Maybe table. Maybe tomorrow would be a good <laughs> Maybe option. Maybe tomorrow might be a good idea. So what about like some of the food and some of the snacks and just kind of take me through? If somebody is watching right now, they've never been out to see you guys. What can they expect when they show up? Well, when you show up in the winter months, there are a couple things that are closed. Our fa family farm park, for example, is closed, and of course you can't you pick anything because mm -hmm. right. everything is getting ready for the new season. However, it's sleeping. <laughs> it's sleeping, exactly right. Thank you. You're yeah, pretty yeah, good. You catch on quick. So you can stop at the farm market, and we still we don't have a lot of produce in there. We do, though, surprisingly have apples, and we will have our farm-grown apples through the spring. Okay. Apples, this is something that I learned when I came to work on the farm, because I'm not a farm girl at heart. But you can freeze apples whole. And when you bring them out of the cooler, it's it's as if they just came off the tree. I ate one of these this morning, and they're delicious. Really? Yes. Yeah, so we harvested these over a month ago, and they're in a cold storage. They come out, and you can walk into our farm market in February. 
and purchase apples that we harvested in November. And they, and they are just delicious. Like they this is the this is a gold rush. And they aren't necessarily the prettiest variety, mm -hmm. but boy, are they delicious. And they do they do keep very well. So we always have those. We always have things like our own apple butter, our apple cider. Now's the time for that. Love both of those. And I Love have them. had those, yes. Yeah. And then you've got snacks too. People yes, you can like get that. sweet, salty snacks. We our, our honey is always available. Sauces and things like that that you can help make your, your dinner table a little more exciting in the winter months. And then head across the parking lot, make a stop at the ice cream factory first. Cheese, coffee, ice cream. It's going to be open year round as well. And then into the winery, and you can grab lunch at the Starlight Cafe. The lunch, we've got specials of the day. We've got a pizza oven. That's always going to be open. We have obviously wines and spirits that you can sample and taste, and, and then do a tour as well. Um, last minute shopping, definitely, but these types of things are going to be around all the way till spring when well, things I think, are And I think, like again. you said, that's what a lot of people don't know is going on. And right. it's happening yeah. there. Yes. So yes. make sure you get out there. Uh, and again, you brought a lot of cool stuff with us. I like this bottle a lot, That's by the, the Christmas way. white. This, yeah, is, we, this is the Christmas white. I've and, been uh, on the farm for eight years, and I don't ever remember having this available this late in the year. We made more of it this year. It's very time-consuming to produce, and so we did put the time in and make more. So if you haven't gotten it yet, you still can. Yeah, so if you need some last-minute Christmas gifts, this is your spot if yeah. you want to go out and have a fun day. It sounds like a full day, and that's a good yes. thing. Um, and if people want to find out more information about you guys, where can they do that? HuberWinery.com. All right. Thank you so much.